the best part of going to see is not only the mystery of what the day is going to give you, but being with good people. And that's the part you appreciate the most. A typical day of fishing out of Miami starts with trying to find bait. We might fish for threadfin herring, pilchards, blue runners. Sometimes we catch goggle eyes in the daytime, ballyhoo. When we go offshore, we want to have three or four species of bait, different sizes, and we'll go put up the kites and hope for the best. Sometimes we get dolphin, kingfish, wahoo, and a couple big yellowfin tunas caught. In South Florida, we're pretty heavy on sailfish tournaments. You might fish 10 or 12 tournaments a year, and the competition level has just grown. There isn't much separating the teams. Anything that you can do to put yourself in a better position to win is important. On the bridge, we carry a couple E-165s, big displays, lots of information. That's always nice to have if you have the room. In the tower, I like the biggest set of electronics I can get up there because when we're tournament fishing, that's really where most of the action happened as far as sighting fish, putting the boat in position to catch the fish. Downstairs, we actually have an E7D, which is a nice seven inch screen. It really is nice when we anchor the boat. Sometimes we'll be down there bottom fishing or chumming. We can just glance over. We don't have to have somebody on the bridge telling us what's on the screen. There's equipment that can help you find more fish, get home safer, and do it all easier. You know, I'm a little bit old fashioned. I don't use every feature that the electronics give me, but that night when the moon's just set and it's pitch black dark, and I've seen boats with no lights crossing in front of me that I would have never seen before. You know, it's not something that you have to have every day, but it's nice when you need it. For me, as I get older, seeing the smiles on other people's faces, this is as good as it gets. <laughs>